Stay tuned for your weekly news review on STVS. Welcome to your news review in English. I'm your presenter, Dakota Simpson. In 2009, the police force, KPS, started placing speeding cameras in order to measure the speeds of road users. However, due to some stagnation, the speeding camera project still cannot be put to use even after four years since its installation. The fact that the legislation is still not proclaimed is one of the reasons why the police cannot operate the cameras as yet. In June, the law on the maximum speed at which a motor vehicle or motorcycle is allowed to drive was adopted. The monitoring of the speed limit shall be carried out by means of an electronic measuring equipment. The monitoring of the speed limit shall be carried out by means of an electronic speed measuring equipment. Another problem is that there is no staff to carry out the project, says Wilfred Brunnings, acting head of the technical service of the police. There are a total of six speeding cameras. The one at the Sophie Redmond Strat is equipped with electricity and is capable of recording data. In order to properly operate the speeding cameras, special staff will be trained. Officer Brunnings indicates that there is also the possibility to determine the data via internet. In this way, the administrative processes can go smoother. Other news reports show that for many businesses and agencies, the hiring of young people during the vacation period is a relief from the pressures of work, but for others it is not. Several companies help young people by providing employment during the school vacation period. Not only are young people helped, but mostly there are extra hands to relieve the workload of the companies. Hundreds of young people are used as so-called vacation jobbers, in addition to the permanent staff. Some of the young people started working in July, and some in mid-August. Shanifa Ram Golam, student of the Lycia Middle School, has been working in a shop in town. She indicates that the job has its advantages. Not only private businesses are providing young people with a job during their vacation, but also public authorities. Apart from the cleaning project of the Department of Public Green, the Ministry of Agriculture, Fisheries and Animal Husbandry also helped a number of young people with a job. Only one week to go and then the school year begins and then the young people will all be in the classroom again. The Commissioner's Office of the District of Para pointed out that visitors of recreation resorts will have to take actions themselves if it turns out that their destination does not meet the prescribed safety rules. Hard measures will also be taken against the resort owners who do not ensure that their resorts are safe. On Friday, September 13, the presentation took place at the District Commissioner's Office of Para. Bumper stickers and a list of tips were distributed by the National Water Rescue. The organization specializes in educating lifeguards for recreation resorts. The Office of the Commissioner has undertaken several actions to prevent disturbances on recreation resorts. Now, tough measures will be taken against resort owners who, despite commitment from the government, have not put priority to safety measures. This week, the National Water Rescue produced about 20 new lifeguards. They are trained to provide both medical and technical assistance in the water. The training provides the staff of recreation resorts the opportunity to contribute to a safe place where people can linger and relax. Other news reports show that Statsole is preparing seismic research in the Wegnarze and Kusuwena region. By October of this year, Statsoli will officially begin with this research. Statsoli had a meeting about this project with the residents in Wegnarze. The plot owners were informed by means of a presentation. Previously, the company drilled in the Wegnarze region, searching the soil for fossil deposits. A seismic survey is done by generating sound waves on the ground. The sound waves are then reflected on the Earth's layers and can be observed on the Earth's surface. This procedure should give Statsoli an indication if the company will continue with drilling to extract oil.
Statsoli will perform a seismic line with a total length of 142 kilometers. The biggest part of the survey takes place in the Wegnarzi area. Most of the research takes place in swampy areas, says Mr. Kanhai. The residents will later sign an agreement with the company, giving Statsoli permission to use their plots. The company agreed that it will only pay for the costs caused by the research. Some plot owners say that they're content with Statsoli's cooperation. And in other news, it is reported that the Department of Village Development in the interior of the Ministry of Regional Development has delivered goods to the local authorities of various villages. This took place on Thursday, September 12th and Friday, September 13th. The villages which have been visited are Gangaston and Pamboko, Lispansi 1 and 2, and Adawai. They all got green garbage containers to promote a clean environment. The various captains have indicated at the handing over of the goods that they are happy with this gesture. They also stressed the importance of the sustainable process of both plastic and garbage, as well as fallen leaves from the trees. The head of the Department of Village Development in the Interior Inland, Alice Yongaman, indicates that the department is in the process of getting the local communities to come up with simple project proposals or ideas. This allows the contribution of the Ministry of Regional Development to be more durable. Financial reports show that on Monday, September 16, the Central Bank of Suriname, CBVS, increased the cash reserves by 5%. The governor of the central bank, Gilmore Hufdrat, presented that information at a press conference on Sunday to the journalist. The cash reserve of the Surinamese dollar increased from 25 to 30 percent, and that of the US dollar and euro from 45 to 50 percent. These measures have been taken to bring calm in the monetary field. Increase in cash reserves is one of the measures to regulate the consumer behavior. The central bank had a meeting with the other banks on Saturday, September 14. Increase in cash reserves also means that it is more expensive for people to borrow and banks have less money to invest. This means that the income will be reduced substantially, says the governor. The envisioned measures in the area of state finances will pave the way for further growth for Suriname, said Mr. Hufdrat, finally. Further financial reports show that there is no increase in the purchasing of school supplies during the school vacation period this year, according to some store managers. It is very crowded in the center of Paramaribo. Parents and children from different parts of the country are busy shopping for the new school year. Some consumers in the city center indicated to be pickier because according to them, the prices are higher than previous years. Despite that, some shop managers are not dissatisfied with the sales figures. Some stores have even adjusted their opening hours to better manage the crowd and to better facilitate the consumers. The coming days will see an even larger crowd who will do the last minute shopping for the new school year. Other news reports show that the French ambassador Joel Godot is decorated with the honorary Knight Order of the Palm. This took place at the corner house at the Watercand in the presence of several ministers, ambassadors and diplomats. For the head of state, the bilateral relationship between France and Suriname has strongly developed in recent times. In the first half of 2011, Suriname established an embassy in Paris, France. As a result, France has become an important European partner for the country. This cooperation also covers the relationship between Suriname and French Guyana, the overseas department of France. The plans, which involve an intensive exchange, were worked out at the River Council meetings between Suriname and French Guyana, says the President. The decorated ambassador has fulfilled an important role therein. The French Embassy was moved to the Nasilan in Paramaribo this month. With the establishment of the new Embassy building with more facilities, further content will be given to the bilateral relationship between the two countries. 
And in other news, it is reported that the bus owners, for whom as of Monday, a global positioning system, GPS device, was installed in their bus, have explicitly indicated that they are willing to contribute to the planning of the public transport. A lot of the bus owners has responded to the call to place the device in their buses. On Monday, the buses of line routes 1 through to 5 were fitted with a GPS device. The government indicated that the GPS system should result in better planning and control within the sector. Through this system, the location of the bus can be identified at all times and it can be clearly seen if the bus driver has been outside of his trajectory. The cost for the installation of the GPS devices in the buses is taken on by the government. The bus owners hope that with this start from the government, other concerns within the public transport will also be addressed. For example, the lack of bus stops on various routes. The bus owners look forward to the future plans of the government as regards to the organization of the public transport sector. And in other news, reports show that the number of abused young people remains a concern for the Suriname Police Force, KPS. The KPS still sees no decrease in the amount of sexual abuse of minors. The police has also noted that a lot of young people who have experienced abuse do not have the courage to talk about their grief with others. Since last year, the police launched more prevention programs and activities with more young people involved. This allows young people to be inspired by peers to talk about their problems. Amongst the activities are the five kilometer walk and a jogging course which will be held for the second time at the end of this month. The bond between adults and young people in the field of communications should be improved so that all topics can be discussed. The theme is Opa you eye no tapu you mofo, which means open your eyes, do not shut your mouth. On a more positive note, police reports have shown that the number of drug users among young people has declined when compared to previous years. Police Inspector Forster called on parents last Tuesday to be vigilant with their children who are alone at home, especially in the school vacation period. She's aware of the fact that it is the task of the police to tackle crime, but she also referred to the damage that the child already suffered from the home. For the walking and jogging course, which will be held on the 28th of September, more than 1,500 participants have already registered. Our final reports for review show that Statsoli has, in the first half of 2013, a profit of 515 million US dollars. When compared to the last year, there has been an increase of 8 million US dollars. 16,200 barrels of oil are produced daily, and gradually this production will be increased to 17,000 barrels. The reserve for the number of barrels at the end of June 2013 amounted to 73 million US dollars. Increasing the reserve is the main objective in the oil exploration and growth strategy of Statsoli. In the first half of this year, progress has been made in the refinery expansion project. The refinery will reduce dependence on oil imports and strengthen the state's treasury every year with 100 million US dollars. Thank you for watching. For further information, you may visit our website at www.stvs.sr. I'm your presenter, Dakota Simpson.